All right, guys, welcome to another vlog. What are you doing, Scarlett? I'm stuck. You're stuck? Yes, my Well, God. unstick yourself. I can't. Ready? Mm. Ah! <laughs> it's a bit silly. You better get yourself the rest of the way out. No. You need to flip me again. Flip you again. Ah! Right. Um, anyway, I'm going to get back to work on this Thrift Z, guys. Um, I'm going to swap out this door right now. Obviously, this door is absolutely destroyed. I'm going to get that swapped out and then uh, get to work on the rear quarters. Other than that, then I need to basically get this thing up in the air and start working on the mechanicals. I don't think I'll work on the mechanicals today. I'm kind of on the lookout. I really want to go for a cruise now that the... Uh, uh, the JZX90 is manual. I don't know. I just want to go for a drive in it. You know what I mean? Um, but it has been raining. So we'll see. We'll see if anything's on today. I haven't checked Facebook and see if there's any cruises or whatnot. Any meets. I don't know. It'll be fun. It's been a while since I've done anything like that. So well, it's been a while since I've had a four-seater cool car. You know, I take that to meets, but then I can't take the wife and kids. So yeah, having this little JZX90 to be able to take the fam out for meets and stuff is definitely going to be cool. No. Nope. Alright, doors ripped off. Um, so the old door here, new door. I'm just gonna strip some stuff out, like I don't need the speaker or any of that wiring stuff there. Just basically, um, oh then I've gotta rip the handle. I gotta get the handle off this door and put it on that door. Otherwise, pretty straightforward. And obviously gotta move my GK Tech mirror across as well, which means I need to drill two holes because these mirrors are actually designed for a G35. But you drill two holes and they fit the 350Z. Super nice, so we'll keep going on that. My kids are acting like idiots so new door is about to be fitted up i just remembered i've got to bend this quarter out a little bit so i'm just gonna use the crowbar to hook behind that and just basically pull this quarter panel back out uh so it sort of lines up with our door when it is on i guess it's easier to do now um we'll see how it works i can't hold the camera and do it though all right so new door on obviously i need to uh still get my door handle and mirror on but it's crazy how quickly this car can go from a complete wreck to like respectable I guess um, lined up this quarter a bit better now I'll just lean on it a little bit to get it back even closer but you know the lines are kind of good get my rear quarter from over here and be able to get this rear quarter straight on and that will uh, basically make her reasonably schmick again Just to give you an idea anyway. And then like, yeah, she's a nice straight-ish car again. To be fair, the chassis under this car is actually super straight. Um, you see this side, not too bad at all. I've got the other rear quarter just sitting on there waiting to go. I've got spare headlights down, uh, spare tail lights down at the track. And like I think I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, I'm gonna go for back to my Rocket Bunny style wing on this car. So I have one painted up ready to go. Um, so I'm going to get that stuck on here as well. Um, just a slightly different look, I guess. Um, just oh, the big wing sort of takes its toll. The boots on these cars are actually made out of like a fiberglass. And when you mount the wing to it, they sort of basically tear the boot to pieces. Um, and mine's like sort of too far gone to be able to remount the wing to it. So I need to get another boot before I go mount the BCL again. So yeah, a few little more things. I'll get these uh Handles changed across, and the mirror. And then I'll be pretty pumped on that, and I'll start giving, mounting the quarters, self-tappers. No, I self-tapper, and then uh, use a bigger bolt. It's the way to do it. I really should have filmed what I just did then, but uh, I basically, these two little holes here are the ones for the GK Tech mirrors, and I just sort of guesstimated. So we really, I'm about to see if the mirror lines up, because, uh, yeah, that was a full just, flying in the seat of my pants there try to show you guys
Mirror's on. There we go. Not bad. She's on there. That's all we want. So door is on, mirror on, new door handle. Start mounting these quarters. Get rid of this dead door. Actually, I need the trim for here. I'm gonna rip that off of this door. Nah, I'm probably not gonna bother actually. Just because it's little screws that are annoying, I believe. Yeah, there's like a screw under there somewhere. Hmm, I might have a look. <laughs> All right, there we have it guys. Probably half an hour, 40 minutes work. New doors on, rear quarters fitted. Look at that, straight as. Quarters are on. Obviously, I still need to get tail lights in, but it's crazy, like, the lines aren't even bad when you look at it. Like, full, you know, no worse than any FD car after an event. Um, or even getting ready for the next event. This side again, all looking pretty damn good. So I'm pumped on how easy it is just to make this thing nice again. Um, this bumper, I don't think it's too far gone yet. So I'm gonna keep this front bar going because the front bars are kind of the um, little bit expensive, hard to find part. So they're the one thing I'm a little bit less um, frivolous with, so yeah. And rear bars, rear bars are becoming a bit of an issue. So I'm not sure if I, I might go back to running a half bar because that will just last forever where the uh, full bars, I tend to drive a bit more like a pussy when I have a full bar on and um, you know, I'm scared to rub stuff. And when you do hit it, it rips the whole bumper off instead of just the, the bash bar scraping. So I think that's the avenue I'll go to. I think I'll head down the track shortly and go and get the wing and new tail lights and get this thing finished off. All right, so we ended up taking the fam to a park, drove the JZX90 down. I thought I fixed the tail shaft vibration yesterday and I haven't. Uh, so I'll take it down to Kevin Bell and hopefully get it up on the hoist again and just see, might've just done something wrong, like put the tail shaft around the wrong way or you can put it in different splines and if the splines are off, apparently that can cause vibration. So we're going to test that out, otherwise maybe the tail shaft I got um, is no good. So yeah, check out this park now. We had a look at it online, it actually looked really fun. It's a brand new park called Worrell Park, but it's all nature stuff, so it should be pretty rad. It's a bit of a scare, bit not scary I guess, but uh, literally there's signs all around the parking area that says if it rains heavy, get out of the car park because it floods pretty heavy in here. So that's interesting. Yeah, mm. if it rains we run. Dangerous soft ground. Mommy. Yeah, this is so rad. Is that cool, Scar? I saw a lizard. You can go in there. I saw a How cool is that? You can have a fire. In yeah, there. it's like a little cubby house. Yeah. That is sick. How rad is this place? I feel like we're in the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> <laughs> go, buddy. You can do it. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yay! That's sick. You ready, boss? <laughs> oh, no. What is Dad doing? No hands. Dad, don't. <laughs> Dad, don't come on the bridge. Why not? Because you might fall. I might fall. Whoa, I'm going up here. I can't fit up there. Is there a slide up there? Um, let me check. <laughs> Daddy! That's, That's a big scar. You reckon you make it all the way? No. I reckon you can. I reckon I'll fall off. Yeah, it looks a bit sketchy. I reckon you'll be alright. Why would it be fair? I have more weight. Ah! <laughs> Two! One! one. Oh, please, I'm so good. <laughs> 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 Alright, I nearly died holding on one hand. Go, Go Scar! Oh, like 33! Alright, we're done. Huh? Basket. Oh, it is a basket. Alright, we're done. Kitties are wrecked. You've been watching too much cops, haven't you, Bossy? Yeah. Alright, watch out. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're down at Black Arts. 
Lucy's done us some things. What did you see them? What? Oh, it, yeah, it's uh, yeah. is Lucy's not Lucy. Lucy hasn't done makeup or anything. No. Hey, honey. Leave the girl alone. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, it's not a Valentine's Day present, but they're sick. Look what oh. I had done up. Ichiban, Ichiban Manko special. <laughs> Do you love it? They're sick. What? Yeah. They're so good. So They're guys, sick. well grab one out to show the people. Yeah, I did. Well, yeah. So these are Scarlet. Scar. What are you doing? <laughs> so these are our new Ichiban Manko special, which means number one, see you next Tuesday. Club Outrun, special sticker. Do you love it? Yeah, they're so rad. Yeah, they so I figured they match your car and I hit up Lucy. I'm like, can it be done? Lucy's How like, How did you yeah. get away with not saying anything? Yeah, Lucy did good. Um, so rad, I'm <laughs> super, super, super pumped on these. They look rad. So guys, you're gonna put them up in the store? Maybe I'll or you're gonna keep, keep them, them all? Because <laughs> you keep selling my cars. So, I mean, this will probably last me a year, maybe two. Of stickers? Yeah, Yeah. if I put one on each car wheel. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you sell it. Yeah. Stoked though, yeah, you are that's wrapped. Yeah, so cool. An Ichiban Manko special. So you'll be able to get the Ichiban Manko special club outrun stickers at lukefink.com guys. Go check it out, grab some for yourself. I'm really pumped on I'm gonna put, put one on the 90. Can I put one on the 90? Yeah, can I I'm get a window put... banner of this? Oh, yeah. That's a really good idea. Yeah, Yeah. For the car. You probably should. All right, one's going straight on the Mark II. Oh yeah, yeah, this is going straight on. Yeah, yeah. All right, new sticker is on. Just realized I never knew the Jimmy Up sticker was wrong. That's from the old owner anyway, so I'm gonna rip that one off. That is center, with the Drifting Essential up there. You can get those in the store as well. What's up, Scar? He's trying to steal your money. He's trying to steal money? Is he? What are you doing? You stealing money? Oh, money. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of money, so I get some money. Oh, well, guys, I'm pumped on that. I think I did well to get them on Valentine's Day as well. It's a little feather in the cap for me. They're so cool. Match your hair and everything. Probably the best sticker on our site now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I decided why I was back home after putting Wifey's brand new sticker on there that we're gonna release right now, basically. She'll be putting it up online. I added some of our other stickers, my basic uh, YouTube channel one. This is probably one of my most favorite stickers. It's a um, uh, sparkly burst style shibby sticker. I absolutely love it. And then I've got the sparkle drifting is essential. And then yeah, Archfield Drift Park. And then I really love the gold members only sticker right there. I've got it in the same spot on my A86. I don't know man, I'm, I love that sticker right there. I think it's like perfect. And then what have I got? Yeah, some of the other stuff on here, but um, yeah, check out the stickers on our store, guys. We're um, pretty pumped on everything we do. Like, I, I love all our stickers. Like, our Dorts one is probably one of my most favorite designs, but I don't know. It hasn't been as popular because I guess it's weird to put a Dorts sticker on a car without Dorts. Maybe? I don't know. Either way, I love it. It's very Jap style. Absolutely love it. But yeah, your support, grabbing stuff off the store, guys, just helps me out with these builds and gets them done and helps me do more stupid content. We're just waiting on some parts to arrive at the moment. Things have been a little bit slow lately, if I'm honest, just because of, um, uh, you know, like the channel doesn't make enough to support itself. But, um, you know, so part of me purchasing cars and stuff is some, you know, my wage that I get from the drift park. But even then, I don't want to spend anything not knowing what's going on with the drift park. So it's very, um, iffy times but we do have some bits and pieces on the way which i'll be pumped about i'm super stoked on this jzx 90 big manual now like this car still owes me a fraction of what i sold the s14 for and it's now manual with coilovers and registered and i don't know very cool car next mod to the jzx 90 is going to be putting a seat in um i would love to do it today but i might do it later today when it's cooled down i don't want it it's super hot at the moment and very 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 humid so I'm not going to do it right now, I might do it later, but man, I'm just pumped on the JZX90. I ordered diff bushes um, the other day, so when the diff bushes come, we're going to get Jamie to weld the diff. Um, so the diff will be welded, and she's manual, so some skids for the 90. 
not long after that I expect I'll be going to Black Arts and getting a lock kit. Uh, yeah, I wish GK Tech did JZX suspension arms because I would love just like a smorgasbord of arms under the back of it. Um, you know, some things like that. Maybe, maybe GK Tech will get onto it. I don't, I'm, as far as I'm aware, he has no plans to. They're just not a, as, there's not enough of them around to justify, uh, sort of doing it, I guess. So, either way, it's right. Are you excited for dinner? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Cooking with tea. Mm. What's happening today? What is this? Uh, baked feta yeah. pasta. Baked feta pasta. Yeah. Boston just said he doesn't like it. Yeah, he's never tried okay. it. You going to bed? Yeah. Apparently he's going to bed. We'll go ask. So you going to bed? Mm. Are you going to eat dinner then? Yes, but I want it with only pasta. Okay. I'm only doing your pasta. Mummy's only doing your pasta. This is what it's like with kids. Are you going to eat dinner, Scarlett? Yes. Yeah? It's yummy. Pardon? And Dad. What? I just had to move that because there was toys under it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't believe you. <laughs> I can move it easily. Yes. Is it much better with that? Without the door there in our scar? So, once we fix it all? I don't think it is for you because you're getting confused. <laughs> Alright, weather has cooled down. I am going to uh, get the 350Z up in the air. Um, and then I can basically start pulling the tail shaft out and start pulling off the shifter bracket as well because I've got to get this uh, this other one here on. So, yeah, not going to be that fun. I'm just trying to double check. I know I definitely have two jack stands here. I don't think I've got four. So I might go like up onto some tires at one end and then jack stands at the other. So I'll work it out. It'll be all good. 10 out of 10, do not recommend pushing a 350Z up onto GK Tech ramps on your own when the car doesn't run. <sighs> that sucks so bad, like my hand hurts real bad from like, you know when you pull or push something so hard and you're basically using your bone, not even your skin. Yeah, I was doing that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get the front jacked up now. And try and get that on jack stands and then I might go up at the back and put wheels under it, so. Man, that hurt. So, it's definitely far from a hoist, but it's up off the ground. I'm going to have to go and get some more of my jack stands from the track because I was going to use wheels and then I realized I'm going to an event this Friday. I don't want to be stuck in a situation where I've used some of my small wheels, which I need for the 8.6, uh, under the 350Z and then it becomes a pain. But now I've just thought about that even harder and just realized that I've completely jacked up the 350Z in front of the 8.6. Oh my God, that's not smart at all. Just means I'm actually gonna have to work on this thing rather quick. Huh, this week was already busy and it just got a lot busier. To be fair, if I can get my handbrake line in, the gear shift thing done and the tail shaft in, then the car can come back down. Um, any other things I have to do to it, um, are reasonably easy. I need to get Chop to redo some of my exhaust um, because like I said, I think that's the reason that I've blown those two tail shafts. Tail shafts. Um, although if I'm not doing those big three wheelers, three wheelers, it won't be a problem, but at the same time, they're kind of fun to do, so I wouldn't mind it. Um, yeah, I've stumped myself a little bit here. Good for you guys. Plenty of content means I'll work harder. Uh, Okay, because I believe the 8.6 is meant to go with Russ on like Wednesday because he's going to do a check over and stuff before we take that car down to Sydney. Huh. Okay, it's no big deal. I wish it was a hoist because then I'd just be able to drive the 8.6 out under a freaking hoist. Yeah, really need to pull my finger out. Okay, well, I'll leave it where it is now. Tomorrow morning, I have to go down the track anyway and take the forklift back that I borrow um, at like 7 a.m. So when I do that while I'm there, I will grab the new tail lights. I will grab the jack stands um, and anything else I need to get this car 
uh, the wing and stuff like that. Anything I need to get this car as sorted out as I can. Uh, I need to give the guy a call that has the tail shaft because I've just been mucking him around. Sorry, Alan Kim. Um, if you are looking for Z parts, he's a really good Z plug. Um, Alan Kim, his name is, and he imports like body kits for 350s and stuff. I would love a body kit on this thing. I just can't justify it with the way I go through bumpers and stuff. Um, yeah. So, tomorrow's going to be really busy, guys. We will uh, endeavour to get as much of this 350Z done as possible. Ideally, if I can get most of this handled tomorrow, that will definitely help out me for the future days. Because, yeah, tail shaft, shifter assembly, one of the LCAs. Um, yeah, there's a few things I need to get done, and I will get it done, guys, I promise because I need to get the 8.6 out. So yeah, like I said, I've made my life hard. Anyway, guys, um, if I don't already remember, lukefink.com. Uh, stay positive, guys, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Peace out, bye.